Hello and welcome back to Scratch Golf Academy. My name is Anthony Vesecchia. I'm a Titleist Performance Certified Golf Fitness Instructor. And today I wanna to give you three drills that are gonna help with a little bit more rotation and also a lot more mobility in your shoulder joint. They'll get progressively harder as we go. Uh, we'll start easy. Obviously, the last one will be the hardest. So stay tuned. Okay, so this first one is going to be a rotation row. So we're gonna be squatted down in a squat position. And what we're gonna do is, if you're watching me face on, is I'm going to just row perfectly straight, just like this. And I'm gonna have it set up at a low point, basically all the way to the bottom of the cable rack. We'll start with a decent weight. I don't know, put it there. Always start low, work your way up, see what you can handle. When you first pull it, make sure that it's a certain weight that you know you can handle for sets of 10. So if you can see me from trail here, you're gonna set up in this position just like this and you're going to row and punch. I'm gonna move off to the side so you can see me again in a second. Okay, so you can see I'm trying to get a very big rotation through my back while I do this. I'll move off to the side so you can see me here and it's gonna be just like this, big turn, and push out with my other hand, big turn. So you wanna do 10 on each arm, do your 10 on that side, then switch and do 10 on the other. Okay, that's our first exercise. Stay tuned for our next one. Now for our next exercise, we're gonna be down in a plank position and we're gonna do rotation plank. So we'll be in a plank and we're going to rotate up to the sky with the weight. You'll feel some a lot of movement through your shoulder. Obviously your abs are gonna be involved because we're gonna be in a plank position. And then this lower shoulder, the one that you have your weight on, will also be going through a pretty good range of motion. Now, before I even start this, make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and comment on this as well. And, you know, we need all that. Keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> so in this plank position, I'll show you from this angle and then I'll turn. I like to reach through with the weight, then we're gonna drag it through and rotate to the sky. We'll bring it back down, reach through, and drag it to the sky. If you wanna do this from a push-up position, you can as well. And I would do 10 on one side, switch, and then do 10 on the other. I'm just holding a 12 here. Again, you don't have to start with a ton of weight. It's just as much about the mobility as it is the amount of weight you're lifting. Move up in weight as you get better at the movement. Make sure it's pretty getting easy for you before you start moving up in weight. You can make the motion go a little bit slower so that you have more time under tension. That'll obviously add some more challenge to it instead of just grabbing a giant weight and going through the motion. So start with the smaller weight, build it up, keep it slow, time under tension, and work with it from there. Now, obviously, this is gonna give you a lot of thoracic spine mobility, core strength, as well as some shoulder movement. Now, for our third exercise, this one is going to be kind of a windmill. Um, a lot of people like to do windmills with kettlebells. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this weight. It's just a 12-pound weight. This one is gonna obviously be the hardest of today for the amount of mobility that's gonna have to take in your shoulder, as well as flexibility in your hamstrings, and obviously rotation in your thoracic spine. So you're gonna start with the weight right above your head, nice straight leg. This one's gonna be a hip hinge, and then I'll show you a squat variation of it. So you're gonna hold this weight above your head, and as you go down, you're just gonna kind of run your hand down the inside of your leg till you hit the floor in between. So we're gonna go down our leg, and go all the way down and touch. This is a hip hinge version, okay, and then you'll come back up. So you can see this shoulder has to go through a lot of range of motion. So with the hip hinge locked out, I'm going to go down this inside of my leg, touch the floor, and I'm going to try to keep this weight right here in the same spot as I do it. Okay. Now, if you want to do it with the squat position, you can as well. I'm going to switch sides. So now I'm going to drop down into a slight squat when I do it and try to keep this weight right here. A lot of times I tell people to look up at the weight as they do it to make sure that it stays in that same position, okay? So you're gonna get a lot of stability in this joint and mobility because you're having to stabilize this weight above your head. It's also gonna have to move through that glenohumeral joint as well and give you a nice range of motion, but at the same time giving you good motion in your thoracic spine because of that 
rotation here as well. And obviously, if you stay in that lock position, you're gonna get a lot of flexibility through your hamstrings. So that one will be the most challenging of the three today. Um, 10 on each side, nice and slow. Don't have to start with the heavy weight. You could start with the three pound weight. You could start with nothing. When you get really good at it, if you wanna make sure that you're really keeping it stable there, you put a cup of water with a flat hander on the top of your fist and see if you can do it without spilling the water. I wouldn't fill it up a lot, just a little bit. Um, makes it a little more challenging to make sure you're really stable in that position as well. Hope you like these. Please incorporate them into your workout. They will help with rotation. They will help with stability and a lot more control through your body and your shoulder joint, as well as giving you mobility in your shoulder and obviously a lot more rotation and power. You're going to just get more power because if you're stable, you have something and a good foundation to be able to build that power on and get more explosiveness. Stay tuned for more.